third degree price discrimination is market segregation. We separate consumers into the inelastic group and the elastic group and charge them differently. So I get a screenshot from a British hair salon and you can see that given the same stylus, say graduate level, if you're a woman, you pay more than men. So in this case, women are the elastic group and the men are the elastic group. Here is how this third degree price discrimination works. So we have a total market. If you do not practice price discrimination, then you charge everyone P star. But if you do practice the third degree price discrimination, you segregate consumers from inelastic group and the elastic group. So then in the inelastic market, you charge consumers PI. For the consumers who are elastic, you charge them PE. If you do not practice price discrimination, then your profit will be area C. If you choose to practice price discrimination, then your profit will be A plus B. Now you can visually see that A plus B is greater than C. And therefore, to maximize your profit, you want to practice the third degree price discrimination. Here are some examples of a third degree price discrimination we encounter almost every day. The first example, Amazon subscribe and save. If you don't mind getting the product a little bit later, at the end of the month, that means your demand is elastic and therefore you pay less. Second, dry clean. Typically, women pay more than men for the same dry clean service. And movie tickets. If you can go to a movie on Tuesday morning, that means either you're retired or most likely you don't have a full-time job. Therefore, you're more calculating with your expenses. That means you're an elastic consumer. Therefore, you pay less for a movie on Tuesday morning. If you can only go to a movie on Friday, Saturday night, that means you have a full-time job. So you get charged more. Nightclubs, if there's ladies' night, that means men will pay more than ladies. Museum tickets, if you're senior or children, you get a discount because these are the group of people who have a lower willingness to pay. Flight tickets, next time when you're on a flight, ask the next passenger if they're paying the same price as your ticket. Chances are, mm, no. And apparels and coupon, if you're an elastic consumer, then you're likely to go ahead and click coupon or download the app to get the savings. That means you're elastic, therefore you pay less. Here are some conditions for the third degree price discrimination to work. First, we must be able to distinguish between inelastic consumers and elastic consumers. Second, we must be able to make sure that there's no resale. So, for airline companies to distinguish business travelers from vacation passengers, there is booking date restrictions. If you're a vacation traveler, then you're able to book your ticket way ahead before the travel date. But if you're a business traveler, typically you cannot book so much earlier. And therefore, if you're booking a ticket close to your travel date, you pay a business traveler price. And for museums to distinguish between seniors from typical adults, then you must show a valid ID if you want to buy a senior ticket. And for movie tickets, if you want to go to a movie on Friday and Saturday night, we just assume that you have a full-time job. You pay a full price. And only if you can go to a movie on Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning, then you can get a discounted price. Finally, dry clean. It's easy to tell the difference between a male consumer's apparel and a female consumer's apparel, and we're able to charge different consumers differently.